Hello, welcome back everybody. As you can see it's still summer and some migrants have arrived. This is actually quite useful because I have uh, not enough dwarves to do all the things that I want to do right now. And as you can see I built the kitchen and I built the still. I also built a crafter's workshop and a mason's workshop. As well as a stone stockpile, finished good stockpile, furniture stockpile. I also made my carpenter's workshop, making some wheelbarrows and some beds. And I also have my wood furnace near my wood stockpile for convenience. The wood stockpile has a max wheelbarrow of 3. This means that at most 3 hauling labors will be active at any given time. <coughs> this is actually good because it prevents all your dwarves from getting wood. Instead, your dwarves will also be able to do other things at the same time. I also made a few different food stockpiles. One only accepts drink, the other one only accepts finished uh, prepared foods, and the other one accepts all kinds of food, and this one only accepts plants. So this way I have an overview of approximately how many drinks do I have, how many meals do I have and how many other food items do I have. One important thing that I forgot to mention is the Z menu. If you press Z you can go to the animal menu where you can butcher your animals. However in order to butcher them you have to have butchery and I still have to build that. You can also go to kitchen and this is actually quite important because I prefer uh, not to cook my plump helmets because cooking as far as I know doesn't leave any seeds. However if you uh, brew your plump helmets then you will get more seeds out of them. Also an important other thing is the stone menu because I have a lot of limestone and limestone is an economic stone it's used to make steel and pick iron bars you can disable or enable the usage of limestone for other purposes such as uh, masonry but it's uh, enabled by default however if it wasn't enabled then I should have uh, come to this menu to enable it so if you wonder why your dwarves aren't using obsidian well, it's because you have to enable it in this menu. So let's see what kind of migrants that I have. If you go to the announcement menu and you go to the message, you can press Z to zoom to the location. So let's see where our migrants are. only one so far uh, also I have the default labors disabled normally this one would come with the the fishing labors active but but uh, he only has the hauling labors you can set this preference in your configuration file. So I'll just continue for a little while longer and uh, I'll be back.